The race for governor in New Hampshire has been a very close one. It pits the former senator, Kelly Ayotte, against former Manchester mayor, Joyce Craig. We have team coverage for you tonight. WBC's Tammy Mutasa is live for us in Salem, New Hampshire, with the Ayotte campaign. Tammy? Well, David, tonight this is one of the most competitive governor's races across the country, and it's also gotten really personal on reproductive rights. But Republican candidate Kelly Ayotte says she's the one who can get the job done. See you. Hi, Mom. On election day, hugs and high fives greeting Republican candidate for governor Kelly Ayotte as she cast her ballot in Nashua. Glad to vote, and uh, we're going to... Hit a bunch of polls today. The former U.S. Senator and her opponent, former Democratic Manchester Mayor Joyce Craig, are locked in a tight race, both vying to replace popular Republican Governor Chris Sununu, who's endorsed Ayot. Abortion has played a defining role in this race. Ayot has said she supports New Hampshire's current law banning abortion after 24 weeks. She vowed to veto any legislation that tries to restrict the law further, even making the issue personal when she described her own experience with a miscarriage, saying she would maintain access to reproductive health care. She comes across to be honest and cares about the people and just get a good feeling about her. In Salem, her supporters stumped for her outside Sewell Elementary, saying they support her stance on taxes, the opioid crisis, and crime. We're being turned out of our jobs. Um, out of our housing and out of our country, and we're not going to take it anymore. And this is also one of the most expensive governor's races we just found out from state financial reports. Ayotte spent more than $20 million on her campaign. Live in Salem, Tabby Matassa, WBZ News.